What's up guys, it's Overnight here, Tekken Games Crusader, and uh, making this video just because I've been doing research over a long period of time since the uh, the original Ally was still in testing. This is my Ally X. Um, so, here's what these all have in common. None of these will connect to output to my capture card here, which is a, a Blackmagic Decklink Quad 4K. So, why won't this occur? So, this is the first dock I tested. This is the second, third, and then this I've had on and off, but I never tested it for that until the other day. Just because I didn't think it was going to carry a handshake e either way. And I was right. It doesn't carry an HDMI handshake. There's not enough actual bandwidth power to initialize for an HDMI handshake for any of these docks. They're great docks for what they are. But they're essentially less docks and more hubs with... A place to put the hand, the handheld. So, probably out of these, my favorite dock is the Ivinky, just because this is 4K 120. It is got plenty of space for angling to set the handheld for the uh, Ally X, even with my skin on it. Without it. You know, look. It's not angled back like all of these. I hate this being angled back because all it does is it assures that you're going to scratch something. This one is great except for the fact of the uh, power output on it and this um, cooling plate right here on the Unitech it actually does not even come close to where it needs to for the Ally. It'll work great for the Steam Deck. It'll work great for the uh, Lenovo Legion Go. It'll work great on all of the uh, multiple INEO handhelds, but this plate right here doesn't fit for the uh, Ally or the Ally X. It wasn't designed for it. This honestly is overpriced garbage to me. I have not had anything but trouble out of every single JSO dock that I have tested. Like, I know there's multiple, multiple YouTubers out there and everything that swear by this stuff because, hey, I can get this for free and talk about it and read a script and then give an opinion. And people are going to buy it. Well, I'm not that way. <laughs> I've never been that way. I've always bought everything here that you see. My own money. Because I don't like to have skewed opinions or bias in anything I discuss. It's about the truth, the about the facts, and about my experience. That's it. The uh, I got this for um, from Best Buy whenever they had them on sale right before the Ally X came out for 30 bucks. It's a great little portable dock or I should say portable power and HDMI connection, but that's about it. It's not much more than that. So, which one will output for the only one that I've discovered will output to my capture card? Is this one. The AYN 
Odin to Super Doc. $49. Had this ever since I contributed to their original Odin 2 campaign. And I got it as the add-on for my purchase. And it's been invaluable. The only thing is... Well, Zyber, how are you supposed to connect it whenever it has, you know, the H, uh, the USB-C in the bottom? It doesn't have a cable on the back or anything. Well, that's where this comes in. I did the same thing for my Switch whenever I first got it, just so I didn't have to have it sitting in the dock and I could have it laying down. So, you just plug it in, and then you plug that into your Ally, and it's good to go. You don't believe me? Watch. Okay, so this is the cable. This 8K HDMI cable right here is the one I've got plugged into the back of the dock. Okay, so here's that cable. Here's the inputs you have on the dock. Two USB 2, two USB 3. We got up to 100 watts power delivery, gigabit Ethernet, and HDMI 2.0. All right, we got this here. We got, I'm on, let's get it activated. It's a second input. I didn't have the uh, HDMI cable plugged in all the way. Oh yeah, and the dock also has M.2 slot. The only one of these that has that is this one at $80. All right. Now, just to show you, I'll unplug it from the dock. And normally, what happens whenever you plug in any of these docks, except for this one, this one it initially does it, but it has a button on the back to swap your mode. It still don't connect to the dock though, or to the capture card though. So what the handheld screen does, it resizes. Whenever it resizes, then it's there. I'll show you again. But I'll do it from back here this time. Yeah, yeah, I know my desk is a mess. Boom. Instantly. This is the only dock that I have found that will connect to a capture card. None of these others come close.
to even possibly working. So if you're trying to be able to capture testing from the ally without having any output, any moonlight, sunshine, any of that stuff, Aurora, just having the device itself be outputting to a display, but being able to capture that from a capture card. Get one of these. It's worth every single bit. Because not only does it work for this, it works for the Switch. It works for the Switch OLED. It works for the Odin 2. Odin 2 Portal. Which is coming very soon for testing. And yeah, I've not found a device this doesn't work with. I just wanted to make this video to give proof of false claims of companies saying that their products will work with a capture card. They do not. They will not carry a signal to a capture card to give it a handshake output. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to give a thumbs up. I know it's been a while since I've been able to post any content. I just have not been doing really well. I mean, it's today the 10th of January, and I'm just, I'm hanging in there. But it's by no means any sort of great experience right now for me with my health and also with just the weather and other things going on in the world and stuff so but yeah just so you have an idea fifty dollars sixty dollars sixty five dollars regular price sixty dollars ninety dollars this was a hundred and twenty with a fifty dollar coupon so it's 60 and it's just I mean they're pretty they're cool and basically this is the coolest one because if I want to use this as a dock for the ally can plenty of space and it's still able to lean and if I don't want to use it like that I can use it like that and get a further back lean on it I mean look at the space one lean or another so, here's the other thing you can do with this. If this, if I got the bright idea of taking a uh, cutting torch to this, you know, peel back exacto uh, knife or something, this rubber part in the center, so I have an opening right here. If I take this off, this cover for the uh, M.2 and the ME, this slides right under here. If I take this out, it just slides under there. It just fits. Talk about modular. Now, if I had one of these that had a 90 degree angle on it for the female side, I could be able to route the cable around the side underneath here and then up to plug in but yeah this uh, this cable right here was seven dollars Amazon so total in this I have fifty seven dollars 
and I can use my very high quality capture card now to be able to capture things directly sourced from the Ally X without any sort of funny business or latency issues or anything. This is just straight up capture. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. It's Iron Knight, your Tekken Games Crusader. Hope you guys have a good night, good day. Take care. We'll see you later.